Before we get into the video, there are two big Christmas giveaways down in the description. These giveaways are worth like thousands of dollars of rank, so I suggest you guys enter. If you guys like to enter, just click on the Gleam link down in the description and just follow the instructions. Also, this month I'm going to be doing a special type of giveaway for each one of my videos. If you guys want any rank on any server or an Optifine cape or you know something special, nothing too crazy. Leave a like on the video, comment down below, and also make sure you're subscribed. Also guys, to enter the giveaway, you must follow all my social media. That means my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Snapchat. All that will be down in the description. I'll be contacting the winners through YouTube so you don't have to comment your IGN. So just comment down below something funny or what you did today or just anything. By the way guys, I'm going to be following people back who are active on my Instagram and my Twitter. So as you can see, I just followed a bunch of people who just like my recent Instagram picture. And I'm going to be following back some people who, you know, retweet and like my tweets. So make sure if you guys want to follow back on Twitter or Instagram that you guys go like my pictures, comment, favorite, and retweet and all of that. Also, make sure to add me on Snapchat if you have any pack or video ideas or you just want to message me and say hi. I do respond to a lot of snaps, so make sure you guys add me. My username will be on the screen right now or it's just MontanaYT. Alright, what is up guys? Lancey here, and today I'm going to be doing another pack tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an Ender Pro. I also got Facecam on, as you can see. If you guys want to see daily pack tutorials or just videos with Facecam, make sure you guys drop a like in the video. If we get a lot of likes, I'll continue doing Facecam. And today I'm also going to be showcasing the Winter Pack Bundle, as you guys can see, this is the sword here. This is one of the many Christmas themed packs that I'm making this month. If you guys want to see more of this, leave a like, and if you guys want me to release a pack, make sure you leave a like in the video. So today we're basically going to be recreating the Ender Pro to this pack, and I'm going to show you guys step by step on how I did it and I'm also gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on how to make enderpearls and at the end of the video I'm also gonna be showcasing a new mod a new cheat breaker mod the mod was made by my boy Canalex make sure you guys go check him out it's basically a new version of the cheat breaker keystrokes so the showcase of the mod and the pack will be after the pack tutorial so let's get right into the tutorial all right guys so today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a high-res enderpearl by the way the program I'm using is paint.net all the links will be down in the description for the program and all the effects I use there'll also be a template to the enderpearls down below if you guys are new and you want to get started first thing you want to do is select the shapes tool and go to brush width and since it's 512 we're going to select about 13 then you want to go up here and go from rectangle to ellipse that is the shape of a circle and then lastly you're going to turn anti-aliasing to disabled so there isn't like blurry pixels all right so once you have everything set you don't want to make the base for the under pro so what we're going to do here is hold left click and then hold shift to make the circle even and we're basically just make the shape of the pro right now so i think the size is just about good and then we're going to move it more towards the center easily here the shape of the ender pro now you're going to want to select two colors for the pro and you can select any color you want but for now we're going to use the uh color from the winter sword so i selected the lightest and the darkest color now we have to do a gradient on the pro so what we're going to do is select the magic wand tool and select inside the ender pro then you want to use your gradient tool and here's a bunch of different options you can use to make the pro Usually when I make my pearls, I use the linear option, which makes it go in one direction. Or you can use the linear reflected, which makes it go in two different directions. Or, you know, there's a diamond and a circle. But for this tutorial, we're going to be using linear. So let's go right about here. I want a little bit of light over here. So that's why we didn't drag it from here. We dragged it from over here. I think right here is just about good. Now you're going to want to start putting some effects on your end pearl. Obviously, this looks really plain. So usually when I do pearls, I use the fragment blur and the average blur. So you're going to want to go to effects, blurs, and then fragments. And basically what this does is create a dark line around the circle like an outline then you can mess around with this usually i just keep on eight and four and then you're gonna press okay and then go to effects blur and average this just basically smooths it all out and i think this looks really clean so after all that you have a basic ender pearl i mean this looks good but you can make it look a lot better by adding your own style to it so the next thing we're gonna do is add some shading to the pro so you're gonna go to effects photo and then vignette and then you're gonna want to choose your spot to add some shading and you want to mess around with the radius and density we're gonna make the shading go this way so i think right about here is good and then you want to press ok and the shading is done so this is like the most simple under pro you could possibly make you know a little bit blur some shading a lot of people like to add their own styles on their pros by adding like a twist feature or an image on it so i see a lot of people using the twist feature so if you want to go to distort and then twist they'll basically make like a twist in the middle of your under pro i think this looks really sick and then you can move the twist like wherever you want, you know, turn up the quality, make it bigger or make it smaller. So you can mess around with these features, but today we're not going to be using the twist. We're going to be showing you guys how to add an image onto your Ender Pro and how to make it look good. So I got this snowflake image from Google and we're basically going to put this on the Ender Pro and make it look amazing. So you want to copy this or any image you have and then make a new layer. Then you want to paste it and make it the size around the pearl. So we're going to do a gradient of gray and white onto the snowflake and I think that's going to look a lot better. So you can literally move this down a layer and add it onto the pearl and just leave your pearl like that. But obviously you can make it look a lot better. So we're going to be doing some cool 
effect to this. So we're gonna twist this a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. And then we're gonna make a bunch of different layers with snowflakes and we're basically just gonna make it look like it's reflecting off each other. So we're making the opacity to the snowflake about 31. You do this by clicking the properties button on the layer and then just moving the opacity down. So once you've done that for all the layers, as you can see, it's kind of messy right now. We're gonna cut all the spots of the main snowflake and we're just gonna put in the edges. So we're gonna do this for all the layers. I just want the edges of this. So if you try to merge this into one layer, it literally disappears. So that's why we're gonna have to do this. So you go to the background image, the main layer, and you're gonna wanna copy the circle, make a new layer and paste it. Then you wanna move all the snowflakes onto this circle layer that you just made and it shouldn't go away. So once you've done that, obviously this looks like really weird and choppy. So what we're going to do here is just do an average blur and it's going to smooth everything out. So once you've done the average blur, obviously it looks a lot cleaner and better. We can also see there's a bunch of white lines around the edges and we're going to fix that by adding like a circle layer around this. What you're going to want to do is make another shape, but make the brush width a little bit smaller. And then take any random color like green, make a new layer, and basically just cover up this with a circle. Alright, so once you do that, you're going to want to select the inner circle that you just made and select two of the colors on the pearl. So we're going to go here, get one light color and then one dark color. And then you want to do a gradient on the outside of the pearl, just like how we did on the inside. We just do this quick and then you want to turn the brightness down to make it darker. So once you've done that, obviously now it looks a lot better and you've covered up the holes. Alright, now simply all you want to do is move the layer down all the way and there you go, you have the pearl. So I touched the pearl up a little bit off camera and this is what I've come to and this is what we're going to be using for the winter pack and by the way the template for the pearl which is basically like the black outlines will be down in the description if you guys want that. Alright guys so we're going to do a couple matches on duels here and I'm going to be showing you guys the new keystrokes mod as well as the new winter pack. So let me just show you guys how to use the mod real quick. This is basically a remake of Chi Breaker's keystrokes mod and it's literally the closest thing I've seen to a remake. Obviously I have Chi Breaker. I know what the keystrokes mod feels like and this is literally just like the same thing. So, so to edit this mod the way you like it you want to go to such keystrokes and you get into this menu here and as you can see you can change a bunch of stuff here there's three different modes if you just want the WASD or if you want the left mouse button the right mouse button and then here you can toggle your CPS and also toggle your FPS and this is basically if you want to make it bigger or not it depends on your GUI scale but we're gonna leave it about a hundred and then right here is the special feature that I like personally just like cheat breaker if you want no fade on your keystrokes or anything you set it to one and as you can see it's just instant if you want a nice little fade, you set it to about 100. So we're going to keep it at 100. I think that's the smoothest one. And then here's where you change all the colors. You know, your background. If you want a red background, yellow. Or if you want to make it more transparent, you can make this lower. And then you want to change the color for when you press the key down. And then here you change the color of the actual keys. This is also for 1.8 and 1.7. Obviously, Cheap Breaker doesn't have 1.8. So this is for all your 1.8 users out there. And we're going to do a couple matches showing off the pack and also showing off the mod. All right, guys. So now we're in a match. And as you guys can see, I got my Christmas hat on. By the way, guys, should all put on my skin. And I'm going to show you guys what the pack looks like in game. This is the 512 version. And this is a bundle like usual. You know, there's a bunch of different versions for low res, people who like low res packs or high res packs. Right now, we're using the 512. Oh, my God. This guy's laggy. One of my favorite parts about the pack is the armor. I actually really like the armor. It's so smooth and it goes well with the particles, the sword, and the crosshair. Alright, this guy lives in like West Africa or something. I don't he's just so laggy. Alright, uh, we're just gonna kill him, GG. Alright, so the pearl I was working on in paint.net, this is what it looks like in game, and I think it's really clean and smooth. As you can see, all the mobs are like Christmas themed, they got Christmas hats on, just like me. And the chests are also Christmas themed. And I'm also going to be making the ores like presents, not exactly done yet, but when they are done, I'll show it in the release. So that's going to be it in the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and peace.